हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुभाषिश इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न द डिवीजन ऑफ ए पॉलिनोमियल बाय अनदर नॉन जीरो पॉलिनोमियल इन दिस सेशन वी शेल स्टडी अ सिंपल मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग द रिमाइंडर इन द केस ऑफ द डिविजिबिलिटी ऑफ ए पॉलिनोमियल बाय अ लीनियर पॉलिनोमियल we use a well known theorem called remainder theorem remainder theorem if a polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is p of a where a is any real number significance of remainder theorem it enables us to find the remainder without actually following the cumbersome process of long division learning outcomes after completion of this lesson you will be able to understand how to perform polynomial division specifically when dividing a polynomial by a linear polynomial how to apply the remainder theorem to find remainders when dividing polynomials reducing the need for lengthy division processes the remainder theorem and the factor theorem can be used together to factor polynomials by identifying their linear factors keywords polynomials factors remainder theorem factor theorem division dividend let us see an example example find the remainder when f of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 1 solution from g of x which is equal to x plus 1 g of x is equal to 0 that is x plus 1 is equal to 0 by moving it right hand side we get x equal to minus 1 substitute the x value in f of x we get f of x equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 by substituting f of minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 cube plus 3 into minus 1 square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 1 after solving all the things we get the remainder as 0 hence the remainder is 0 Let us see another example. Check whether f of x is equal to x cube minus x plus one is a multiple of g of x is equal to two minus three x. Solution: From g of x is equal to two minus three x. When g of x is equal to zero, then x will be equal to two by three. After substituting two by three in the equation, we get. 2 by 3 whole cube minus 2 by 3 plus 1. 2 cube is 8 and 3 cube is 27. Minus 2 by 3 plus 1. By taking LCM, we get 8 minus 18 plus 27 by 27. After solving, we get 17 by 27, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, f of x is not a multiple of g of x. Let us see one more example. Find the remainder when f of x is equal to x cube minus a x square plus three x minus a is divided by x minus a. Solution: Let g of x is equal to x minus a, then g of x is equal to zero. That is, x minus a is equal to zero. Then we get x equal to a. Substitute the x value in f of x. We get 
f of x is equal to x cube plus a x square plus 3 x minus a. Now substitute a value in place of x, we get a cube plus 3 into a square plus 3 a minus a. After solving, we get a cube minus a cube plus 2 a. After cancellation, we get 2 a. Hence, the required remainder is 2 a. Let us see another example. Without actual division, prove that f of x is equal to 2 x power 4 minus 6 x cube plus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 2 is exactly divisible by x square minus 3 x plus 2. Solution. Let f of x is equal to 2 x power 4 minus 6 x cube plus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 2. g of x is equal to x square minus 3 x plus 2. So, we will split the g of x into linear factors which is equal to x square minus 2 x minus x plus 2. By taking common terms we get x into x minus 2 minus 1 into x minus 2 which is equal to x minus 2 into x minus 1. We show that f of x is exactly divisible by x minus 1 and x minus 2 using remainder theorem. Substitute x value as 1 in f of x, we get f of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 power 4 minus 6 into 1 power 3 plus 3 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 minus 2. After solving, we get 2 minus 6 plus 3 plus 3 minus 2. We get it as 0. Substitute x value as 2 in f of x, then we get f of 2 is equal to 2 into 2 power 4 minus 6 into 2 cube plus 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 2. After solving, we get 32 minus 48 plus 12 plus 6 minus 2. Then we remain with the remainder 0. Therefore, f of x is exactly divisible by x minus 1 into x minus 2. That is, f of x is exactly divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2. If p of x is divided by x minus a with the remainder p of a is equal to 0, then x minus a is a factor of p of x. The remainder theorem leads to the factor theorem. Points to remember. The remainder theorem states that if a polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p of a where a is any real number. This theorem allows you to find the remainder when dividing a polynomial by a linear factor without performing long division, making the process more efficient. The remainder theorem and factor theorem can be used together to factor polynomials by identifying their linear factors.